Hey guys, it's Happy Home Gaming here again, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Last time on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we completed the Forbidden Woods over there on the, in the horizon, and had a horrendous run of Kali Demos. God, we don't have to do, do him again. Today on Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD, we will be continuing to the next island. Where is the next island, you say? Well, it's over here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're, ooh, we're up at the map. What does this treasure chart say? Ooh, I know that island. We won't be getting to that island in a long time. If it wasn't obvious now, if we were to stray off the path that we're supposed to be taking, King of Red Lions will tell you to go back on the path. We don't exactly have free reign over the Great Sea as of right now. We won't be getting to this island for a while. Ooh, what's the other one saying? That one's in Dragon Roost. Again, we will, if we, that will be straying off our path. So yeah, let's talk to him. So this place too has been attacked by Ganon. We already be regaining his power. Link, you must get into the remaining pearl. It's, it lies in place northwest of here. We must set sail immediately. Yes, we should. So mm, we went on to the next island. Also, before we move on, that little mini island over there, we can't do anything with it yet. We need the pick. We we, we have. What you do need is the picto box, and we do have it, but we don't exactly have complete access to it. Everything there yet. I'll get into it a little, well, a little later, but much later, we'll be out of full access to it. Wow, we're moving slow. So we're moving this way. An area we don't know about yet. So yeah. Moving on. Ooh, I wish there's a certain song in the game we haven't learned quite yet that we'll be getting soon. That, uh, well, not soon, but a, a little while. When we get a break in the story on Windfall Island, that allows you to change the day and nights. We'll be getting to that later, though. Because I want to change the night, because I love the music on the Great Sea. Anyway, we are going to this island over here where it's mar marked. I'll meet you over there. Alright, so. Uh, I'm about midway th there, sort of. Well, not really. I'm only about a couple spaces there. See those seagulls over there? Uh, don't go over there. <laughs> Because there's a mini boss of sorts that will appear there. If you, whenever you see seagulls flying around like that, there's usually a mini boss there, and we have no way of killing him yet. We need another item that we're about to get soon. So I'd rather you avoid it at all costs. But because of that, that threw me a little bit off course. So I'm gonna have to um, change wind directions. We can't. I mean, we we may have not have free reign over the Great Sea as of right now, but we can still change wind directions. So, when I get up to this, either one of these two, um, uh, squares on the map, I'll change direction. So, yeah. Don't go to the seagulls quite yet, because you'll just, you'll hate yourself for it. Anyway, I'll meet you back over there again. Alright, so, um, but I am um, in this quad. Sorry about that, I picked up a couple two balls on the way here. Um, I am in this quadrant right here, or not quadrant, in this square. And there's a platform that we can get at right here. So let's climb up the ladder. So yeah, I think my policy with these platforms is that I'll, when they're at my convenience, I'll get to them. But they're, they're, even though the Great Sea is littered with them, they're few and far apart sometimes, so when, that, when I encounter one, I'll get to them. So, yeah. A treasure chest? Really? Okay. There's some rupees. Be a red one in there? I think it's a red one. No, it's yellow. Heart. I guess I probably need that. I don't know if I need it, though. Anyway. Onward to the next island, which is over there. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, I don't think we've seen one of these yet. See that over there? That's a submarine. Um, I won't go to the submarine right now because they may have some enemies we haven't seen. We have some enemies we may or may not have some enemies we haven't seen yet. But uh, we need to get to the next island because we have some story to get to. So, yeah. But there's a lot of submarines in this game. This is not, that's not the last, nor this is the first, but not the last one we'll ever be saying, so, yeah. We'll get to them, don't worry. Yeah, 
Uh, anyway, I'll cut back over there. Oh, no! No, not these! Sea hats? Oh, all right. You know, I these are called sea hats, but I call them helicopter heads. I hate these things. <laughs> they are so scary. I hate them. Ever since I was a kid, I have loathed sea hats. They're not particularly dangerous if you can outmaneuver them in the water. But they're scary. That's, that base of theirs. Look at it. Helicopter heads be scary, yo. And that's not the... This is not. This is the first time, but also not the last time we'll be seeing sea hats. I hate these things. God, no way. Anyway, we're all... I think... Uh, how close are we? We're, we're like one square away. And so... No more cuts for right now, but, uh, yeah, sea hats, I hate them. Okay, so there's the next island over there. Doesn't look like it'd be pretty particularly good shape, and there's a cloud over it. I don't know what that's about. Also, there's a treasure there. Hopefully, I can get it. Hopefully, I can get it. Okay, there we go. Wrong button. There we go. Got it. What we have inside this one? Oh, purple rupee. Okay. <laughs> Just one, one foot away. Luke, Link, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle. What is the meaning of this? The island? It is. We are too late. I know we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon has once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh, there, Link! So, you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? I'm sorry to report to you that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose this too is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But fear not, Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He's in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island you were born. On outset. Yet even if you were to go to the outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a great mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Not even the pirates of their mighty ship could get in. I must apologize, Link. I thought if anyone would know of their whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I told them this tale without so much thought as the consequences. I don't know what they had hoped to get, get, but they immediately set sail for Atlas Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky they cannot gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spot on Windfall Island. What, what are they doing what? I do not know. If you wish the seat of Jaboon, I think you'd better search for the pirates in Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Every world supposed clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Blue must have been right about when he asked me to bring the word of Jumba Jaboon to you. We call this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to. What is your decision? I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Well now. How unfortunate. So we need to go to Windfall Island. I would like. So Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived throughout many the trials of many long years. He must have caught a wind Gan's attack before both beforehand. If we were to believe the words of the Rito postman, then the pirates know something about the cave of where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go first to Windfall and search for them there? Alright, so I was saying I'll ignore that jingle bottle as much as I don't want to. And continue forward, because we need to find those pirates. All right, so north. We want to go north. Generally, what I do with this particular part is I go to Mother and Child Isle north to the north of here, and then sail to the east towards Windfall Island. So where we are going to go is up to here. This is where Mother and Child Isle is, just one square uh, southeast of Forsaken Fortress, which is right here. So we go there. So see you there. Oh, I missed the tingle bottle. Not wonderful. Ruby, okay. As if I really needed that. 
All right, we are arriving at the mother and child ISIL over there. You can see them in the darkness. Also, that cyclone over there, you remember uh, that uh, wind god that we spoke to at Dragon's Island? His brother is making that cyclone. We want to remember that there's, there's several around the Great Sea, and we we'll remember that particular one here at Mother Child Isol for later. So make note of that particular cyclone. So we're here at the Mother Child Isol. I Isle, excuse me. So we want to change the wind direction to the east and make our final leg of the trip to Wind Violin. There we go. Alright, so I'll see you back at Windfall Island. Just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing attention to the townsfolk. I do not I know not what they are re researching, but if they were hoping to get their hands into Boone's a sacred gem, I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. Like, I think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without finding them about you. Alright, so we're here on Windfall Island. Tingle bottle, going to ignore it again. I don't want to. So, oh, Facebook, post box is swiggling. Swiggling. Okay. Good evening. Letters for Link, we have one letter. Here is letter. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some nice crests and return to me, Orca. And money. <laughs> I don't really need that money. Anyway, the so Windfall Island is, uh, well, empty. So where are they? Well, the pirate ship's over there. We can't get on the pirate ship, but it's locked. The door to the, uh, cargo hold is locked. So we need to go to the bomb shop. Because we want bombs. Because we can't afford them, apparently, even though we want bombs. I don't know why that still thing's there. I don't know. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not our fault that we gotta, absolutely got to have the bombs, get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it, of it as payback for the last little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? <laughs> so I bet you're thinking it was foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous, pr outrageous price, huh? Yep, I bet you are. You know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that was smooth. I tell you, the minute I set my eyes on that link, I just knew he was hiding something out of set. Yeah. So when I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about that kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Good work, Gonzo. Really, just top-notch. It's funny, though. I'm thinking this is maybe the first time you've shown such wit, such cunning. You know, with your cunning, Mr. Mr. Tetris Smart, you, you, you two got married and had a kid. That could be the greatest part ever to sail the seas. Yep, the greatest. You idiot. Keep your mouth shut, yeah? Don't be so stupid. Miss Tetra, are you listening to this? Wait, you need to dock him some pay or something? Quit goofing off, both of you. Keep your childish jokes to yourselves and get those bombs back to the ship. The second you're done loading them for setting, out, setting sail for outside island. Uh, what, miss? We had to leave immediately? It's been so long since we're on, on, on shore. We need to fill our bellies with some good eating, yeah? How about some grub tonight? And we show up tomorrow morning instead. I mean, uh, I'm fine either way, of course. Whatever you say is fine, miss. I, it's just what I mean to say. It's just that the boys were so excited to come to town, yeah? I can't, I, I can't help, and I can't, I can't help, but I think it would be awful hard on them to leave so soon without the proper layover. So we say we sit still tomorrow, yeah? What do you say, miss? The treasure doesn't go anywhere. You're right with me, boys. Right, boys? Who's in the front for a night of fun? Dot, 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 dot. You're all fools, do you know that? You saw that demolished island, you saw the sense of destruction. You have to hurry down the outside or the same thing could happen there. Huh? Not to be disrespectful by the sound of things, you were worried more about the island than the treasure, miss. Don't be ridiculous, I want you to know treasure. Alright, fine. Have it your way. We can leave tomorrow, you big babies. We're saying sail at first light, so no sleeping in, understood? Aye aye!
Hey there, brother. Where's Teddy's password again? Mako, are you serious? You forgot already. You're so useless. Teddy's password is Barnacle, yeah? Remember. You know Nico won't let you in if you don't say it exactly right. He's real picky about it, so I'll say it once more. Today's password is Barnacle. Yeah. Barnacle, eh? Alright, so... <laughs> oh, was that her head cut off? So... I was gonna... Uh-oh! Oh. <laughs> I thought I got myself stuck there. That would've been bad. Um, so now we're in the back of the shop. Which is interesting. Now we can get all these rupees that I clearly don't need, but I'm gonna take anyway because we're never gonna be able to get back in this back of this shop again. Why does he have so many rupees? Does he make bombs out of them? Are bombs made out of rupees? Ooh! I made a head cannon about rupees! Oh my god! That's <laughs> Cannon about rupees. Rupees are made from or make, make bombs. So the password today is a barnacle. Let's let's say it again. Barnacle. B a r n a c l e. Barnacle. This is a spelling bee, not Legend Zelda Wind Waker. So we need to get on the ship. On the ship already. Wonderful. So here's the door. Ship's only tooth is a. R. Ooh, I just spelled it correctly while while talking. It's barnacle, okay. Oops. Back up. Back it up. You're right. 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 You may enter. I'm sorry. I'm just always. I'm just real picky about spelling, and if I don't spell it right, I go crazy. Come here, this is Tetra's cabin, which is awfully nice, and a bed that's way too big for her. I mean, it could fit me. I'm 6'7". Like, in real life, I'm like 6'7". I'm like real freaking tall. I could fit this. But Tetra, she's too small for it. Okay. Um, anything here? No? Alright. Oh, hey, buddy. There we go. Hey. How's you doing? Oh, Link! My old Swabby, Link! So you're alive? All the other pirates said he got, got done in by the bird monster for Second Fortress, so I thought... Never mind what I thought, you're alive! Oh, I get it. Now he came back, he's missed me so much! I had no idea you wanted to be my Swabby so badly. I see. I see. Well, after you left, I went back to being the bomb rung on the ladder, which is why I'm stuck here while everyone else is in town having fun and eating and stuff. But I guess being so worshipped by my Swabby ought to cheer me up. Alright, why don't you set... You say, we set you on your next test, huh? This one's harder than the last. Good luck. You'll need it, Swabby. You see there are lanterns hanging throughout the room, right? Well, last time when you pressed the switch, platforms rose up for you to jump onto, right? Yeah, well, this time there aren't any. Which means you'll have to jump from one rope to the next one. Pretty tough. And that's not all. This time I put a gate on this door, too. The switch opens the gate, but it'll close if you don't get here to before time runs out. Run out of time, you'll have to try it again, little Swabby. This puzzle, uh, this this thing here. The switch that opens the gate is in the same place as before, so go step on it. If you get all the way to the side before time runs out, I'll give you the bombs when you got in town. Yeah, you heard me. Give you your best shot, Swabby. Uh, I hate this one. If you have played Zelda Wind Waker before, you will know my pain when it comes to this puzzle. I may be pro at the first one. I'm not so pro at this! And to make matters worse, they're moving. Why are they moving? They are connected to nothing. Oh, that was close. <sighs> okay, I guess I can do this. If I fail even once, I can just... Put back down the gate. And then reset the timer. No big deal. I got a little cocky there. My fault. Alright, there we go. Moving on. I 
Actually, we can technically make it to that rope over there, that, that second rope beyond the, first, the next one. Or maybe we'll grab onto this rope. That works too. Two tries. What you got? You've got to be. You did it already? You're you're incredible. Yes, I am. I know. Thank you. This isn't good. I've never been. I've never even passed this test. How could you do it so quickly and make it look so easy? But that's still never one we know for sure. Oh, so you're so busted. Uh, okay. You're the best swabby of all time. So I guess I'll just give you the bombs. Go on, take them. Just don't tell anyone, okay? I'm serious. Really serious? Okay, okay. Sure, why not? Now we get some. Get some bombs? Alright, so we got some bombs. That's a my courageous of you trying to steal treasure from pirates. I suppose I should be shocked, but I'm more amazed that you managed to survive, survive after being tossed out of that tower. From looking in your face, I have to guess you haven't saved your sister yet, huh? You don't give this thing as much thought, do you? Just rush in, never think how badly things could go for you. Like just now, the only reason you got what you did is because we left a simple-minded little rat like Nico behind and left to look after things. No one else would have put part with our treasure so easy, I assure you. And just how you intend to use those bombs anyway. Don't tell me you're going after Jaboon's treasure, too. Right now, Jaboon's hiding in a cave on the back of the island that you were born on. But the entrance is blocked by a giant stone doorway. You can't get in without much breaking down the door. We're going to relax in town and dare fill whatever this town has to offer. But we're leaving for us that first thing in the morning. If you manage to find your boon tonight, then I guess you win. If you take too long, we'll come sailing right by you tomorrow morning. And believe you me, you didn't get all of our bombs. You better be quick, kid. Alright. So now, I get to do something very mean. <laughs> oh, what I love doing is trapping Nico in there. Because you can still close the gate. No joke, we just closed the gate on Nico. I love doing that because it's it's mean, it is cruel. It's essentially putting him into jail, but it's funny. I love it. All right. So let's head to Outset. Ooh, can I get across here? There we go. Back on the island. Bitch. There we go. Ooh, Teagle Bottle. Ooh, mail. Teagle Bottle and mail. Good evening. There's Flink. We have one letter. Here's your letter. Notice from Beetle Shop Ship. It's time for our semi annual Big Chance Extravaganza. We have a new drop product that is bursting onto the scene. Bombs! We're having an extra special sale on this choice item for a limited time only. You'll know where to find us by checking the closed Beetle Shop Ship chart. There's a beetle shop ship near you today. Offer not available in all regions. Don't make us out on this huge opportunity, beetle. You got beetle's chart. All right, so beetle's chart. Oh, Tingle's chart's not even open too. All right, so there's Tingle's Island there marked and two fairy islands. Get to those later. And then beetle's chart. All the beetle shop ship. That particular, um, you'll see that there's a beetle with a helmet on. Uh, we passed an island on the way to Mother and Child Isle that ha that um has that beetle with the helmet on. We'll get into them later. We there's a side quest that involves the Great Fish Isle later in the game that also involves Zunari, the guy with the uh, on Windfall Island with the uh, coat on in warm weather. We'll involve. We'll be getting what he has at that shop ship later, but not right now, because he says it's a it's an opera. Uh, Huge opportunity that's limit like for limited time only, but um, not really true. Well done, our preparation is complete. The girl says it's true. The pirates won't be leaving till morning. 
We must with Jaboon and get the pearl before him from him before they arrive. Let's delay no longer, Link. Sorry about that, but uh, I want the tingle bottle. My brother Lenzo just hooked me up with the color pick the box. This is true friendship. Hashtag true friends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I'll yeah that. That's kind of funny. Hashtag true friends. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So. Here you go. Oh, wrong one. Alright, so. I guess my path I'll take is go back to the Mother Child Isle and then go south from there to when outside the island. So I'll meet you there. <laughs> Wonderful. This is intuition. <laughs> my own intuition.
Have you noticed, Link? Morning is not broken since we arrived at Great Fish Isle. The land that was so ravaged by monsters, it is if time itself is frozen. Perhaps this is the curse that, Gre that Valu spoke of. Whatever the reason, this, might, the night does not, this night does not end, then we do not need to worry about the pirates overtaking us. In fact, it might not be a bad, day, bad idea for you to visit your hometown and family again after such a long time away. You can speak with Jaboon after you do. Alright, so we're here at... In, uh, no, Windfall Island. Outside Island! And... Oh! Jelly. Jelly. Bro, no. Jelly. Give me some jelly. There we go. Juice! Alright, so we're here, and I'd like to do something... With a little grandma in our house. Because you'll get something for it if you do. Oh, look at her. Oh. Mm. Link, Errol, don't go. Don't leave. Mm. Don't leave your poor old grandma all alone. Oh, Link? Is that you, Link? Grandma's always happy to see her bright, shining face. Link, my dear, sweet Link. You're safe. That's wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. Oh, that's right. You and your sister, Errol, have been trying so hard to be strong. I've just been sitting here warm, moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother, and I'm one that should be taking care of you. I'm so sorry, Link. I haven't been considered what you've been mostly going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Thanks, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. You got elixir soup. This healthy stupid grandmother makes replenishes all your life and energy and magic power. Your attack power also doubles until the first time you take damage. Now that is one hearty soup. And your kind of grandma grandmother filled the bottle so full that there's two helpings inside. Isn't she the sweetest? You and your sister love the soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it any time for, for you anytime you like. Grandma's gonna try to be strong, so you can try to be strong too. But don't do anything reckless. All right. All right, so we got elixir soup. I'm not gonna drink any of it right now, of course. Because <laughs> if I did, that'd be pretty stupid. I have full magic and full hearts. Why would I drink it? Anyway. There's some business I need to take care of because I'm now sudden. I don't know. Not a whole ton to do. We can say hello to the people. I won't do that for uh, time's sake. Because actually, this episode's running quite long. I spent the last ten or so minutes traveling here alone. And I'll ignore the choo choos, by the way. So, talk to the residents if you'd like. But I'll talk to actually I'll talk to one of the residents who has a bit of a uh, interesting thing to say about what's going on with the, uh, with the choo choos as well. Is he lives in this house? We haven't met him more more or less quite. I don't remember if we have. <laughs> if we have, I I don't know how I forgot. You failed one. This guy. Hey, Link, is that you? Link, whoa! You are kind of startled me there, buddy. I thought there would be more, more of those monsters kind of come to harass me. I tell you, there have been a lot of strange things going around here night and daily, at night lately. I haven't got a good night's sleep in ages because of it. And I love sleep! In fact, I saw something really odd just a little while ago. Of course, it was back before the bridge was destroyed. It was up by the, in the ferry woods near the old dried up fountain. I saw this tall girl who glowed like a fairy, which was odd enough, but I, she, she almost vanished, then she vanished into that rock. Really, I saw it with my own eyes. Alright. But under his bed, is like, dude, what the hell are you doing? What are you going under my bed for? In this tre treasure chest, we get a red rupee. 20 rupees, what a pleasant surprise. So, yeah. By the way, just a few seconds ago, I thought that would contain an orange rupee. In fact, it doesn't actually contain a red rupee. I don't know why I thought it contained an orange rupee. That's all the business of the town. So we need to head up the mountain again. And encounter, actually, a new enemy. Believe it or not. Green rupee, not gonna pay attention to that. Sign, don't care about you. Can't hear them, wait. 
Everybody can't hear anything right now. Okay, there we go. Mini blends. They're pretty annoying. They, net, they, they come in quite the numbers. I hate mini blends. They are so annoying. Even though they are easy as hell, they are so annoying because they never stop coming. And they take two hits to go down. And their voices, more or less, are just annoying too. Alright, that should be all of them. Right, so, we're at the top of the mountain. Their bridge is out, so what we need to do is take out our Deku Leaf. I don't know why I've been equipped bombs earlier. And then direct the wind in a north westerly direction. We want it going west. No other direction is correct here. We want it west. Just a proper west. And we're going to fly across the gorge there. The other side. You can see there's a uh, whirlpool back over there behind the mountain. Keep that in mind for a few minutes, because we're going to need to um, be aware of it. So, we have some moblins over there. Just like the ones we found in the uh, for Second Fortress. Oh, also a moth, a mothula. Also a moth in the Pokemon. How wonderful these things are. There's more in that tree stump too, that where, where that red ruby was in. Alright, so that, uh... That boulder there, remember earlier? Uh, the first episode that I said you can't get to it yet? Well, now we can get to it. We can blow it up. Because now we have bombs? Blow it up to oblivion. Oh, a heart. I definitely need that heart. Heart of the cards, heart of the balls, or whatever. Oh, reference. Give me a reference to the Let's Player there. <laughs> oh, she does have that heart of the cards. Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid you in your quest. You got and can you carry, carry more rupees? You can now up to hold up a thousand rupees. The fairies in this fountain shall use your weariness. When you grow fatigued from your battles, come here to be refreshed. So well, we started off with 500 rupees, but now we can take a thousand. Yeah, that means more money for us. Um, it's a very, it's very imperative that you do come here to get that uh, upgrade for your wallet. And it's not the first time we're going to be getting an upgrade. Of course, is a Zelda. Yeah. Oh, All right. Ow. Oh, I got both of them, okay. You're dead. You're not quite dead. Drop the crystal, okay. Alright, so you're dead. Yeah, and yeah, I know, I purposely took for the green so I could get more rupees. Away. She knows. Just so you don't bother me again. Oh, cut a piece of grass and got a ruby. Yay. Alright, so let's leave. We got, the, we got the ruby upgrade. So we're all done at the top of the mountain. Now we need to go get to Jaboon. Because we have nothing else we need to do here. Take a believe of faith. Oh, don't land on it. Oh, whoa. Okay, that would have been bad if we actually landed on the rock. We almost landed on the rock fairly, but not quite. Oh, oh, also, I should mention, on the way here, I filled up my map a little bit more. This entire line, including this island right here, Spectral Island. Uh, I also filled up, so we have more of our map filled up as well. Also, that was a pretty good voice crack. My voice seems to be getting a little tired. I might want to end this episode off quite soon, but we still got a little bit of ways to go. Are you ready? 
Are you ready? If that was the case, if that is the case, then we must search for the cave around the back of the side of outset where Jaboon is said to hide. Wait for a second. There we go. Alright, so he's on the back side. Back side of the, of the island. We need to go to that whirlpool again. We're moving very slowly. And we're caught in the current. Alright, so, bombs. We need to destroy from the top to the bottom. So the top one first, where it's cracked the most. As you can see, the pirates have made their attempt to get into it. They destroyed a little bit for us. Which makes it much easier for us, so... Bombs! Bomb! That's the first one. That's the two. I'm gonna do it for one fell swoop. There we go, one fell swoop, we're good. And when that breaks down, the membrane break down, that goes away. Indeed, Jaboon, I am pleased to see that you're safe. <laughs> yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no explanation. <laughs> Unfortunately, that is not so. <laughs> one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. Yeah, I sense the great promise and the courage that this one possesses. <laughs> I do. It is the only way. You got Na Nairu's Pearl. The Water Spirit Jabunas was kind enough to give you this jewel. A treasure of one is one of the goddesses. Foul rain and other night were the indeed elements of the curse brought on by Ganon. We must intend to cast this land in pure dark into pure darkness for all time. I believe I have. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so morning should come soon. It's well that we've gathered all the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you've placed each of the pearls in the proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabuna has shown that Ganon has begun to make efforts to block our path forward. It is certain that the perils ahead will be much gra will be greater than anything you've faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on the outset right now, so you shall not have any regrets later. Oh boy, this has been a long episode. At least, in my at least without editing. I'm up to an hour and three minutes, actually, excuse me, an hour and four minutes, just changed over. I think I'll end things off here. If I can get back to the freaking docks. <laughs> Boy, spit a little bit. Um, my mouth is dry. You can probably tell on the, on the, uh, in the recording. I'll just get out of the boat here, because we're not going anywhere fast enough. I need to end things off here, because, ooh boy, an all episode. So, we've done quite a bit. Our four minutes and 30 seconds. So I think we'll end things off here. So join me next time for more Lessons Zelda Wind Waker. <laughs> Screw you! Just 
die, please. I want to end this. I want to end this episode off. Should be better. All right. So again, join me next time for more Legends of Zelda: Wind HD, where we set the three gems we have been have gathered thus far in the rightful places. On these three places on the map. So we got a lot of traveling ahead of us. Please bear with me for the next episode because there's, it'll be a lot of traveling at the, for the moment. So, yeah. So, see you guys later. <laughs> I cannot wait to get the, the that item that we get very soon later in the game. Possibly, I don't remember how long. Just make life so much easier for me when it's to traveling.